Smith. At the beginning of time, at the instant of the Big Bang, there was a single, all-embracing force of unparalleled power. As the universe cooled, this super force lost its unity and divided into the forces and particles of our universe. Today, physicists are searching for the basic law that could uncover that lost unity. In fact, this was the lifelong goal of the most famous physicist of our time, Albert Einstein. Einstein gave the world a new theory of gravity and produced the equation that revolutionized physics, E equals mc squared. Yet the greater part of his life was spent trying to extend his ideas into a complete description of all phenomena. Einstein did not succeed. But now, finally, we may be on the brink of uncovering for ourselves what Einstein never knew. started in the hot fireball we call the Big Bang, the whole universe could be described by a single all-embracing law. But as time passed, the universe cooled, simplicity became complexity, and the familiar world developed of change and diversity. Today, the original simplicity has vanished from sight, but maybe it could be recaptured if the fundamental laws of matter could be worked out. The discovery of an all-embracing law is a goal which physicists have sought throughout history, a single complete theory to explain all physical phenomena, life, the universe, and everything. According to a new generation of physicists, we may now be close to discovering that original simplicity, finding the all-embracing law which would tie all physics together. And then the fact that it's equal to plus it, I do the opposite. I think it's an enormously healthy time in physics. Uh, the controversies are very, very productive, and eventually this may work out, and we will find out what uh, the real theory of the universe is. This is a boson, this is a Fermi law. So I think what happens here is that you have people who really feel that they are learning something about the universe here. People are excited. They feel that uh, new physics is opening up. People um, want to leave their mark in physics, and they feel that, in fact, there is a chance here that this is important. Today's physicists are coming up with ever more daring theories, encompassing more fundamental ideas. And this approach is leading them farther away from direct experimental testing. In fact, physics may be facing a dilemma. As physicists finally approach the ultimate theory, so they may lose contact with the experimental tools that have traditionally unlocked nature's secrets. New machines for direct testing will require temperatures so high that they may be physically impossible to construct. And as the goal of unification gets ever nearer, physicists may have to rely more and more on the mathematical elegance and inner simplicity of their theories alone. If ever a scientist believed in the power of aesthetics to produce truth, it was Albert Einstein. He's most famous for the theory of general relativity, a totally new way of understanding gravity. Yet the greater part of his working life was spent trying to extend his ideas into a complete description of all phenomena, as he called it, a unified field theory. In 1928, the equations of Einstein's latest attempt at unification were even posted in the windows of Selfridges, the famous London store. Crowds gathered to look at them. But Selfridges was overconfident. 
Einstein's equations for a unified theory never quite worked out. The most famous scientist in history died knowing that his life's goal was unrealized. But since Einstein, the search for a single fundamental theory has continued. It's a story that takes us to the limit of experiment, deep underground where giant tanks of water are waiting for evidence of an extremely rare occurrence, the decay of a proton. And out into the wider universe in search of missing neutrinos, thought to have been created 15 billion years ago by the Big Bang. And down into the innermost parts of the atom, where particle accelerators collide matter and antimatter in tiny recreations of the start of the universe. Science has known for a hundred years that all the objects in the world are made up of the same sort of particles. A tree is a complex arrangement of atoms and molecules, but all the constituent parts are known. Scaled down some thousand times, we see the individual cells and fibers. Again, are individual molecules. Each atom reveals layers of electrons around the nucleus of tightly packed protons and neutrons. And at the smallest level known, there are quarks, which make up each proton or neutron. And there are also electrons which orbit the nucleus. We can also look outwards to the farthest reaches of the universe. A million trees would barely span our own Earth. The Earth and solar system itself are but tiny specks within a complex of galaxies and galaxies in their turn are mere dots in the full span of the universe. We can now trace the history of our universe back to one billionth of a second after the Big Bang, when the universe was a hot soup of fundamental particles and forces. Physicists regard each tiny particle found today as a fossil record of that explosive instant. But at the moment, the most important characters in the story are not the particles themselves, but the forces which hold matter together and are the source of all change and motion. Scientists today recognize four of them. Gravity is the dominant force. Nothing in the cosmos escapes it. It keeps the planets in their orbits and holds the galaxies together. The electromagnetic force is familiar to us as light and radio waves. It also binds atoms together into molecules and electrons to the nuclei of atoms. Gravity and electromagnetism were the only forces known until the 1940s, when two new forces were found, operating at the tiniest distances, actually within the nuclei of atoms. The weak force is responsible for the slow disintegration of the atomic nuclei, which causes radioactive decay. We can also see the force in action during the cataclysmic explosion of an aging star, a supernova. The strong force, also a recent discovery, actually holds the nucleus of the atom together, making ordinary matter possible. This force is so strong that the nucleus is a million times harder to break apart than the atom itself. The goal of an ultimate theory is to show that these four very different forces are in fact related, that in the distant fireball of the Big Bang, they were unified into one primal force. The belief is that as energy and temperature approach those of the Big Bang, the once separate forces blend, become equal in strength, and reveal their hidden unity. No known accelerator experiment will ever be able to journey into the far regions where all four forces are unified. The energies required are just too high. But there may be stepping stones which will point the way to a full synthesis. And in fact, one theory has already taken the first momentous step. A connection has been made between two of the forces, the electromagnetic and the weak force. A new monument has been added to the landscape. But it took over 10 years for three theoretical physicists, each working independently, to sketch out just how these two forces were linked. 